Oh hi, didn't see you walk in there. It is me, Frank Jeff C, and in today's episode of Cooking with Frank Jeff C, I'm going to be visually masturbating this uh. Nintendo 64 right in front of your eyes. I'm just fucking joking with you. I'm actually going to Chicago, the birthplace of three of my favorite things. Kanye West, Bears, and Deep House. House, 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 and Deep House. So in this episode, I'm going to be using this deep dish pan to make a deep dish deep house pizza. And I'm gonna teach you how to do it. First, you're gonna need some traditional Italian style pizza dough mixed with my special ingredient. It's, it's my cold. Next for flavor, I'm gonna be using this dank green bell pepper. Next, if you're a fan of cheese, I know I am, you can use mozzarella cheese. You're also gonna need some pizza sauce. If you're really poor, you can just use ketchup. Next, if you hate yourself, just add bacon to it. Did you know pigs are as smart as three-year-olds? Well, now you know. Next, you're gonna want some salami pepperonis. You can get them at the store for like money. Next, you're gonna want some hot Italian pork sausages. Let's make a pizza. Set your oven 450. That's 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you oil up a pan with stuff. And then you keep on oiling. Now you stretch the dough with your hand. And maybe you can flatten it out. And then it looks like a ball sack. Then you throw it in the pan. Then you circumcise this sausage. Now it's cooking in a pan because you can never have enough sausage. Leftover sausage? Don't be silly, kid. Always remember to wrap your Now since it's popular on YouTube to showcase your alcoholism to everyone in the world via the internet, I'm gonna be drinking some cheap Costco wine. Mmm, that was a lot of wine. <laughs> Once the scorched piggy flesh reaches a golden brown, much like my skin complexion, place on a paper towel and plate. Next, drain the oil so you can place more pig flesh onto the heated pan. What's that? A bacon mustache? Just kidding. Extreme makeover bacon edition. As a man, my ego is highly fragile. So I take my bacon cooking capabilities extraordinarily serious. Grr, bacon, dead pigs, I cook them. My arteries, I clog them. In Deep House, bacon would be the, the androgynous black female vocals, which should come in right now. Put some bacon on a plate. And then you chop up a green bell pepper And then you cut out its ovaries because it's a female vegetable Then you chop up the bacon to smaller pieces I know that these two songs are completely different But they sound the same, 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 same I am cooking bacon so I can't eat away All my pain, 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 pain So now that we have the sausage the peppers, and the bacon all chopped up and ready, we're ready to put it inside the pizza. To create a deep house deep dish pizza, start out with the watery thonky base. You can create this base by layering sausage, then layering pepperoni in the form of a pentagram to keep demons out. Then sprinkle bacon on top of it, because why not? The green peppers are optional. I like adding them because I think they taste good, and it's always good to put some green in your dishes. Next, slather everything with cheese, because cheese is good. Cheese is life. After everything is coated with cheese, using a spoon, delicately slather smashed tomato sauce with herbs and spices in it on top of the cheese. I would have put the sauce below the sausage, but a man with fat hands on the internet told me otherwise. You know what they say about chefs with fat hands, they probably get high off their own supply. When you have created your master pizza, place some aluminum foil over it. Now put it in the oven for 20 minutes. 
Once the pizza is done, remove the foil and admire your mess. Now add even more cheese on top of it and place the pizza back in the oven for another 10 minutes. So now we take it out and admire our monster magma ball. And that is how you make a deep dish Chicago style pizza. It's actually really hot. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video tutorial as much as I did making it.